today I'm gonna demo to you um, for PA2 which is about um, creating users using a script and also backing up the script that's split into two tasks. Task 1 is the user script and task 2 is the backup script. So here goes nothing. Okay, so here. I don't know why this happens, but sometimes people use different passwords. PA dollar dollar WZRD. Don't know what's the point problem with that. And I'm telling you, if you know the password, but if the teacher cannot know, you're gonna be in serious trouble and straight away you zero if, if the teacher cannot log in. So please bear this in mind and don't create a different password. That if you did it and you've forgotten, you're gonna to have to reinstall again and no one can help you. Okay? Anyway, speaking of that, let's demo this to you. So it goes CD. And then nano create user and p w d dot s h. All right. So she bang. Again, if we don't put uh, shebang, it's not a shell script. I'm telling you. So this is a, basically a for loop. I in. The number of users, again, it depends on the context. So I'm not going to basically follow what's in the PA2 because I don't really want to uh, give you the really the answers, but again, it depends on the context. So let's say this is one to ten. But please read the question. Don't be lazy to read. If in a hurry, you're gonna make a mistake there. Okay, do user. Add M. All right, the M is basically to um, add the create the user and add the user. All right, and then the one we want is user. But again, it seriously depends on the context. Right, S is basically the shell from what you could recall. All right, then she bang. Echo is basically to tell you that the users are added. Done. And also, uh, you have to create the password. Okay, P is to crypt the password. If you could still recall. MK password. MK password. Sorry. Okay, the same password. P A dollar dollar W zero R D. Alright, right, if the script cannot run um, and there's an error message, please install who is for the NK password package. Alright, 
I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Um, at get install who is all right you have to connect to the remove cd dvd remove device before you even do remove device connect to cd slash dvd connect and then it should work Okay. Right. If if your script has a cannot run, use the you create a script to delete the users. Don't be so helpless, huh? Right. So I'm gonna teach you how to do the delete users one. But again, don't just find blindly. Uh, follow the question people you have to sometimes if there's errors you have to sometimes install something please bear this in mind all right shebang in bash for i in The number of users again. Do user delete R R is to remove the user. All right. Go is to remind you again that the users will, will be this time will be deleted. Okay, done. All right, now you have to change mod again. But if you use bash, it can run, but in the mod scheme, it's very strict. You have to change the mod, give permissions to the script. Gmod UGO plus X for both of the scripts. And Okay, same for the delete script. Okay, then dot slash dot s h it does not exist and but that doesn't matter now I'm gonna run the create user script Alright, it shows that the users are created. Now, there was a question that you had to change user mod for, but, uh, to test group. So, you do a group add. Test group. 
and to change the user mod go to user mod slash g group let's say user 10 okay that's done all right for the uh, for the colon uh, um, there's a difference between it so do not put different ones or else I'm telling you you might get it wrong please all right let, now let's move on to the backup Let's clear everything here first. Alright, back up. This one in the PA2, we all kind of we did badly, but for P for this for task two. We did well for task one, but we didn't do well on task two. So I understand we got confused with some bits and also there were errors. So let me but we learned from our mistakes. So let's demo this now. Alright, so CD first. MKDIR backup. Alright, go to the backup folder directory I meant. Alright, then um, create the backup script which is for daily backup. Nah. No daily cup dot sh chibang bash oh the ta the tar command oh this one is basically to back up archive all your files c v ZF is in the backup folder, so put backup slash dollar user. Right. If the users cannot log in, I don't think the script can run. So please do check whether the users can log in. Which I'm pretty sure should be, but do check. If not, if the teacher also cannot, if the teacher cannot log into them, you lose marks. Bear this in mind. User dash date. Password free. All right. In the question paper, we want like first percentage. Percentage. Um. Y, which is the year, minus percentage M, plus percentage D, the day, minus capital H, <laughs> percentage M minus minus percentage S dot plus V dot tar dot G Z Oh, this is this one. This is basically to uh, zip the file. G zip. <coughs> Home. Dollar. The. Okay. Save it, yes. 
Oh, I forgot to do something earlier. I forgot to change the mod for the backup directory. Here. Um, she mod seven seven five seven. Sorry. Backup. All right. Don't go back to the backup directory and change mod to your script as well. Let's see the script is there. This. There. Let's change the mod. You can either do 775 or UGO plus X. Whatever is good for you. No one's stopping you. But X daily. Back. All right. There's a question it asks you to to um, create a user. So the fastest way to get into the, let's say user one is su space slash user one, and then check whether you're in a user directory. Check in the user. Yes, you are, and then go touch user one, and then you go to check whether the script is correct. Go more daily back. Ah, this is the error. Please be careful. And I forgot. <laughs> yeah, because you did not go into the backup directory. That's <laughs> so. Please be careful. Go to backup directory. Uh, daily. Go. See the script can run? Yes, it can. What on earth? All right. Let's see what's wrong with the script. Cool. Let's go back to the. Let's go back to the root, the user. Alright, let's see what's wrong. So, let's check what I missed out from the other script I created here. Because I, I'm pretty sure I, I, when I did it my own myself just now, I, uh, I 
thought it worked, but well, let's see what's wrong. Ah, here. Yeah. Right. My mistake. He'll be here. Please do check. And don't be in a rush to do. Like I just did here. So please do check. Alright? Change the mod again. Next. All right. Go back to the two slash. User one. Hopefully, it works. Hopefully, there are no errors. All right, there you go. So, I said before, please don't be in a rush. Do read and check. All right. Then, uh, to display the contents, first you do a list. All right. Um, tar. TF user one or whatever user thirty eight. Right here, you go the contents are displayed again. It will be tested in the face test. Please bear this in mind. Hope you don't make this mistake again. Now you learn from your mistakes. Now you can get it right. Hope you can get it right. Unless I'm hoping there's, a, there's nothing we have not learned in the face test, which I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be. But let's pray for it, anyways. See you guys. Bye.